everyone. Today we will learn another science process skills which is classifying. Okay. Classifying is using observations to group objects or event according to similarities and differences. Okay, maksudnya mengelas ni ialah kita asingkan sesuatu objek kepada kumpulan mengikut persamaan ataupun perbezaan. We have here an example. These are groups of non-living things and living things. In the living things group, we have a cow, a camel, an elephant, a rabbit, and also humans. In the non-living things group, we have chair, table, lamp, and also a car. These are examples of grouping objects according to the similarities and differences. Kita mengelas objek berdasarkan persamaan. Okay, for example, dalam kumpulan ini, semuanya ialah living things. Manakala dalam kumpulan ini pula semuanya ialah non-living things. We have here another example. Let us try to classify these things according to their similarities. Let's begin. We have here six objects in two circles. The first image goes here. The grapes goes in the second circle. The strawberry, the sunflower, the watermelon, and the blue flowers. This time, can you guess how are these things are being grouped? The first circle are all fruits. Very good. The second circle are all flowers. That's right. I have here a sample classifying chart. Let's try this out. We are going to group the following items together according to where they are mostly seen and used. On the first table, we have the school, and on the second table, the house. We have six items to classify. We have a blackboard, a lampshade, a bookshelf, a sofa, a bed, and school materials. Let's begin. Where can we mostly see a blackboard? Very good, at school. How about the lampshade? In the house. How about bookshelves? Mm-hmm, in the library of our schools. How about a sofa? Very good, in the house. How about school materials? We definitely use them at school. How about the bed? In the house, very good. Good job! Okay, so to conclude our today's lesson, classifying is to group or put things on the same kind. That's all for today. We will meet again in our next lesson with me, Cikgu Azrini. That's all. Take care, stay safe and happy learning. Assalamualaikum.